Hi, I'm George, and in this Coralfish 12G video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A with Ryan from the YouTube channel Vlog After College to learn a little bit more about his new saltwater reef tank. This is Ryan's second saltwater tank, a Red Sea Max C250 66 gallon tank, which he's been vlogging about in his new series. All right, first off, I would love for my viewers to know a little bit more about you as a hobbyist. So how long have you been in the hobby and how did you get into it? Sure, so I've been in the hobby for over three years. To be honest, I got into the hobby because I wanted to fill up an empty space in my apartment. My first aquarium was the BioCube. I wanted a challenge, and I had originally thought and planned that I would only do fish. I ended up doing corals because when I went to the aquarium store, I saw all these corals that I had never seen before, and I started quickly getting addicted to the coral hobby, especially when I started learning about all these different coral pieces that there were, and all of a sudden, fish became less important to me. Nice, so you've upgraded on up now to your second saltwater tank, I know the feeling. What regrets did you have with your first saltwater tank that you're going to use uh, as experience to help you now with your new tank? Sure. So the difference was going cheap is not the way to go. I also saved a lot more money for this tank. I also knew that I needed to be incredibly patient. The first time around, I didn't know all about the biological cycles that go on in the tank, such as the nitrogen cycle. My biggest regret from the smaller tank was learning that going small is definitely the harder thing to do. Smaller tanks like BioCubes are really, really cool, but there just isn't enough room for stuff like protein skimmers. I did feel like it was a little bit set up to fail. So in a nutshell, my biggest regret was not starting larger. Ryan, that's something that I try and tell my subscribers who are setting up their first solar tanks all the time. I would never recommend something like this size, which is only 10 gallons to a beginner. All right, so what exactly is your plan as far as livestock for the new tank? My overall plan, since I love coral so much, I'm gonna focus more on that and have a lot less fish. I learned that fish easily destroy the water quality. <laughs> because I'm not gonna have too many fish in the aquarium, I want fish that are gonna be very active so I can get a lot of fish action and movement in the tank. I was actually exactly the same way as far as getting a lot more into the coral than the fish. Uh, I don't even have any fish in here, so as of right now, I guess I'm Coral 12G. But what are your favorite corals? My favorite coral is Elegance Coral. In this tank, it seems to be doing really well. I love corals with a whole lot of movement. And so I love Torch Corals, Octospawns, and I also really love Duncan Corals that have really, really long tentacles. Let's talk more about your system and equipment. The Red Sea Max new tanks are absolutely beautiful but what type of equipment are you running in your filtration and in general? To be honest, I'm just using the stock filtration mostly for everything, which includes the protein skimmer, filtration sponges on either side, two ChemiPure Elite bags. The only other things that I added to the aquarium is a Vortec MP40 powerhead, as well as a Tons Osmolator Auto Top Off. Another thing that I did with this aquarium, it comes with six T5 bulbs, but I also did mod it with these LED strips, as you can see over here, and place them between the light bulbs, and I have them turn on usually at night when the T5 bulbs are off. This is the final question. So, what is one thing that you never share with your subscribers about your reef aquarium that you think all the reef aquarists on my channel might like to know? The main thing is that I'm always doing research and I'm always just sitting down staring at the aquarium. <laughs> In the videos, I do edit a lot of that out. I would definitely agree. Uh, I can't even do homework in my room anymore because I have the biggest distraction in the world sitting right next to me. All right, Ryan, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me. Hey, in a year or two, I want to check back in with you and see how your tank's doing. Trust me, for a new tank, it looks awesome. Thanks so much, George, for featuring my aquarium on your channel. Definitely a big fan. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my channel, Vlog After College, for vlogs and updates about this aquarium. As far as my channel goes, I also do vlogs and pretty much everything that has to do with reef aquariums. So if you want to stay up to date with me and my reef aquariums, 
please subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks again, Ryan. Have a good one.